Hey guys and welcome to the channel Adventure Travel and Scuba Thomas here. In today's video it's going to be quite short. I just want to touch base on handlebars and what to do with them once they will wear out and become slick or like in my case the handlebar here became very sticky. I tried multiple things uh, to deal with the situation from cleaning it with uh, alcohol then cleaning it with Dove detergent. Nothing worked. They were basically very tacky and sticky in touch. I think that happened when we were riding in higher temperatures in Utah when it was hot, the rubber kind of lost its property and started to become kind of sticky. I'm not sure if you have ever run into this situation. Uh, I was looking online, people actually experienced this kind of problem as well. And I found a quick solution that I was able to deal with this situation. Basically, I bought a shrink tape and put over the handlebar here and that solved the problem. So the tape is quite uh, inexpensive. You can get it on Amazon. I will put the link down below. It's not a sponsored link by any way. I just bought it uh, with my own money. It's a couple bucks, nothing expensive. And you can install it quite quickly uh, with the heat gun or some kind of a heat uh, that will shrink to the size of your handlebar. So instead of buying new Oxford he heated grips and a lot of work to get it all changed as well, you can just repair the old ones and you can do it multiple times with the amount of tape that they give you. This is how it looks. Uh, it's not cut. I think it's about one meter in length or even more. I'm not sure I didn't measure it, but that I looked at more than what I need. So I can use that always multiple times if I have to. What I will do on the other side, I'll show you how to install it and uh, hopefully you get some value out of it. If instead of replacing your heated grips or any kind of grips, you can use this shrink tube and install it over your handlebars. Uh, you can use it for hockey sticks, uh, grab handles or anything else. Um, the texture of it, it's a little bit smoother than the actual handlebar grip, but it's got those little in, uh, design that sticks out a little bit and that solves the problem. It's not sticky anymore. And I'll show you how to install that on the other side on my Africa Twin. Before I jump into that, if you found any value in this video, don't forget to hit the like button, comment down below and subscribe to the channel. That helps me a lot and it pushes my content through. I'll show you how to tackle this quickly. It doesn't take long really. I just have to loosen up my backbusters. Gonna be able to remove this cap here to size it to the size of the handlebar grip. So there's another screw right here in the front. I'm just gonna quickly loosen that up and I'm gonna be able to drop it down. Just a couple turns, nothing major. Take the, the end cap off or the weight from your handlebar. And now just gonna size it what we need here. That's about there. I'm not gonna measure with the tape or nothing. It doesn't have to be 100% perfect. It will shrink to the size anyway. Should have grabbed my scissors instead of using tin snippers, but that should work. So we're gonna put it on. It fits quite big, but nothing to worry about. It will shrink to the size a little bit too big. <laughs> I'm gonna trim it a couple of millimeters here. See how we're doing now. All right, now we're looking right perfectly into the size. We'll grab a heat gun, warm it up. And what I wanna do, I wanna push it in towards the side right here. As you see, it's shrinking quite good. That's pretty much it. It's sitting quite well on here. 
put that on the floor so it's hot. So now we have a new handlebar grip. All we have to do is put it back together. We're gonna put my stopper for my manual cruise control first. And now we'll put the end cap back on. And I will tighten the screw in the front. Put my manual cruise control back on here. That's another $30 piece from Amazon when you want to give your wrist a little bit of a rest when you're down on a highway. Works like a charm. And this is how she looks finished. So no more stickiness. They look like new. And instead of buying new heated grips, because you cannot just replace the rubber pieces so you have a new grips installed that will, will probably last you another couple years if they were out or anything happened to them no big deal you can always put another ones so that was a quick install at both sides probably 15 20 minutes and we're ready to ride again so i will put the link to this tape uh, i don't know if there's any smaller sizes i just picked that one i eyeballed it and ordered it but it shrinks to the size of your handlebar, uh, probably different types of handlebars because there's quite a bit of room and once it shrinks as well. So that's pretty much it for this video. I'm not gonna push it much longer. Uh, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.